Another quick vid of, uh, just want to do my torch. I saw a scarecrow having so much fun yesterday. Figured he can't be the only one allowed to have all the fun. Um, this is just a little flashback arrestor that I had made previously. What I think the uh, flashback arresters are kind of a thing of the past with uh, Embridi's blow off valve. That was actually a uh, very cool idea. I use them on supercharged engines, so if there's a hiccup in a supercharger instead of blowing up the the roots on the supercharger it uh, it'll just release out of that what they call burst panel and it's the same principle it's a um, you know just a release and it has to be able to release enough pressure to uh, you know not rupture the cell so um, I think that's a much smarter way to go about it. Um, the uh, flashback arresters are just too inconsistent. This flame speed of this stuff is way too fast. Um, you know, with this bronze wool, you have to be able to keep it wet. Well, when you when you wet it, your flow goes down. So it kind of seems like we're working against ourselves here. And the uh, the, you know, the relief valve is a, a safer way to go. Um, and, uh, you know, it'll just, it'll just keep doing it if need be. And um, maybe we could put a sensor or something in these cells to where if it sees that pressure spike, it'll kill the cell. Um, the other thing I really want to recommend people is on the hookup of your, of your cell, make sure the fuel pump out so the, the wire that powers the fuel pump from the fuel pump relay turns on the on the cell that way even with the key on engine off this thing won't be making hydrogen and uh, well, flashback worked um, you can uh, you know that way the the cell will only be producing when the car is actually running. Um, I've just seen a couple other manufacturers, Super Hydro 2's and stuff, that people have put in themselves that I've worked on and uh, it's, you know they uh, um, sorry I'm getting kind of brain farts here um, they're just too dangerous, they're blowing up lines and you know yeah they got the little safety flashback and whatnot but uh, if the car, they start leaning them out too much, even with these fuel-injected cars, they'll hiccup. And uh, you get one little hiccup and that HHO goes back up in that tube. Um, you can have problems. In fact, the Super Hydro flashback didn't work. And somehow or another, it made it down to the cell. And it's a convection cooling like this. But there was enough fine enough bubbles that it went down to that cell and it exploded it. And they're, they're running a... Uh, oh, an eighth inch stainless steel tube with some plastic tops on it and the plastic is what let go and this poor folks had it underneath the uh, bumper of their little Honda Odyssey van deal and when that shrapnel came it popped a hole in the radiator and their AC condenser so you know their $600 kit in the long run cost them um, you know a couple grand and I've seen other people's where their kits were leaking KOH or NAOH solution and it was actually eating away at their bell housing of their transmission and their engine um, so it's very important I mean you don't see any hose clamps on mine but this is a bench test and actually there is some hose clamps on there but um, always use hose clamps always use the high pressure rated hose something that can handle the heat and uh, try and keep this stuff as safe as possible um, you're working with some very volatile gases here yeah they're doing a lot of good but some people just aren't aren't thinking it all the way through and I think the the Embridi solution it was you know it's quite simple but yet very very effective um, you know and I'm even gonna go as far as putting my cell in an enclosure just to keep fire risk down. I don't think there is much of a fire risk 
uh, just because it burns so daggum fast, uh, it doesn't have time to catch anything on fire. But um, you know, if there's any fuel vapors or something, you know, a leaky O-ring on an injector, you know, there you've got a possibility of a, a small fire or explosion, uh, other than the HHO. So try and play this stuff as safe as you can. Have fun. Experiment. Um, you know, in the long run, it's going to do us all a lot of good. Have a great night. God bless.